Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to set up the Echo Dot. This is the second generation model. And the first step is plug it in. So we're going to just plug in the micro USB right to the side here. Super simple, right? And it's going to turn on. You'll see the light coming on. And it should prompt you. It's going to ask you some things to start. So let it search. And while it's doing that, on your phone, you're going to want to go to the App Store. If you have an Android phone, go to the Play Store. If you have an iPhone, you're going to go to um, the App Store in there. And you're going to look for the Amazon Alexa app. Okay, you're going to download this app. It's free. And then once you download it, you're going to hit open. It's going to open up the app. And depending on if you use Amazon on your phone, um, you may already be signed in, like I'm already signed in. But for most people, you will have to put in your Amazon account, um, which is an email and password that you use on Amazon.com. If you don't have one, you just set one up, and there's going to be some prompts that are going to allow you to, to set up that account. And then I'm going to go menu. So that takes us here. And I'm going to go to settings. Basically, under Alexa devices, you're going to go down to set up a new device. It looks like and go ahead and tap on there. You can find setup instructions in the help section. And then we're going to choose the, our device, which is the Echo Dot. So tap on there. Choose your language. Continue. So now it says to press the action button for five seconds to manually get the Wi-Fi to begin searching. So let's hold down on this dot for five seconds. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. There we go. See that? Now in setup mode. It's the instructions in your Alexa app. perfect. So it's triggered that mode. We're going to hit continue now. And now we're going to go back to Wi-Fi. And we should now see the little Alexa uh, option in our Wi-Fi. It does say it takes about a minute for that to pop up. So we will patiently wait for that. But there it is, Amazon UHD. Tap on there. Hit continue. And this is the phone connecting to the Echo Dot. And to Echo Dot. There we go. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. So we're going to hit our just recent apps and we're just going to jump back to the Alexa app now. We'll just go ahead and go home and apps and we'll go back to Echo Dot or the Alexa app. Excuse me, Alexa. There it is. Connected to Echo Dot. Hit continue. Now you're going to pick what network you want your Echo Dot to stay on. I'm going to put it on Larry H. Parker. So now it actually sets up the device so that this is always on Wi-Fi on its own. So you never have to do any type of uh, phone setup stuff again. Um, so that's really cool because this does take a little time. Your Echo Dot is ready. There we go. So now that it's set up and it's registered to your phone and to your account, at this point, it's just a matter of customizing the settings to uh, your preferred apps. So like one of the first things, let's see, connect. One of the first things I like to set up is Pandora because that's one of the big features that I will be using. There is an intro video. We're just going to skip that. Next is showing you some different things you can say, make shopping lists, um, set a timer, play music. Yeah, yeah, yada. Okay. But um, there's a section we're going to go to in a second that will allow us to uh, basically set some of our app settings. So I'm going to go ahead and just close the app altogether. And then I'm going to reopen the Alexa app. And at this point, you should be able to see some of the different options with apps you can set as just a preferred. 
So again, Pandora is one of the ones I usually set up first. Here we go. So menu, go down to, let's see, what should we go to? Skills. This is actually cool. It's a whole library of different things you can ask Alexa to do. You can sort of browse and see what other apps are partnered and just see different things. You're gonna see a lot of news uh, options in here and um, you know, some things with connected home, but uh, it's a lot of different, just news stuff, sports stuff that you can do. And I don't know if this is the right place yet. Let's see here. Let's try settings. Here we go. So actually it is under settings. So we go to account and let's see music and media. And so what's cool is that Pandora is already linked um, because I have it linked to my Amazon account because I've used uh, Pandora on other devices. But basically here you would um, select Pandora and just sign into your account and then all your playlists will automatically populate. You can, you can ask her to pull up a specific playlist that you already have. Um, These are some other cool ones, Amazon Music, you can just ask her to just play music, uh, iHeartRadio for listening to like a certain radio station, you know, like there's one that's two in the morning, it's a great app there. So that's the first thing you want to do is set your music defaults and then your flash briefing is the next one and you can sort of tell it what news outlets do you want her to pull from and all you do is say uh, Alexa flash briefing and then she'll begin to tell you about the different news. Alexa, can you stop? In ESPN Radio Sports Center from TuneIn. Alexa, pause, flash briefing. Here's your flash briefing. To listen to Fox Sports, please link your iHeartRadio account in the Alexa app. In ESPN Radio Sports Center. Alexa, that's enough. Cool. So there's one way to get her to be quiet. Um, so flash briefing and music are the two things I would say set up. After that, I would go to skills, which is just going to menu here and skills. And you can sort of see some of the different things you can set up for her to do. But basically this is how you set her up. And when it's done, you really don't have to use the app too much more after that. Um, everything is just sort of facilitated through the device. Now, when you get into like setting up your connected home and the more advanced features, then you will be using the app a lot more. But um, this is the basic setup and hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if it was helpful. And make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.